Hey guys, welcome back to 5 Minutes with a Technician. My name is Daniel. So today we're going to talk about how to mill your table on your brand new K600. So this one is the K600 XL. So right now we've got the milling wheel on the machine. Uh, with this one we don't have to adjust any water. It's all kind of automatic. If you have an older machine or just a K600 Extreme or a standard K600, the water's different. Uh, on those, you have blue hoses that come out the side. For me, I recommend wrapping those blue hoses and getting water front and back by cocking the valve to like 45 degrees. But on this one, we've got water in the front. That's all we need. So let's go over to the screen and I'll show you what we're going to do here. So if this is your first time milling the table, you need to know how long that table is. So we've already milled this before. I know this table is 157 inches by like 82 or 83. Uh, so if we look at the screen here, what we want to pay attention to is our absolute, our absolute Z. So absolute and Z. So right now we're almost at 24 inches in Z. We need to drop that down to our previous level. So we wrote that down on our electrical cabinet here. So our Z height was 11.8. Okay, so we need to come over to the screen and we'll, we're gonna type in 11.8 in Z. I'm moving the machine so I can go down without crashing. All right. So we're gonna go Z absolute. I don't know if there's a bad glare on there or not, but Z absolute. And then we're gonna go 11.8. Check and then play. And you'll see the head is going to drop down. Oh, uh, it says Z-axis too low. I got to change my diameter. So we could just put this to like like 10 inches. That's, that just should be plenty. Well, let's try that again. So 11.8, check and play. There we go. So that's the previous height that we milled the table at. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, change our max speed here. So your max speed right now, mine's set at 120. I'm gonna dial that up to like 600, maybe even 800. It kind of depends how much you're taking off of the table. So if we click on that, let's just do like 600 inches per minute. There we go. Your RPMs when you're milling the table, probably like 1800. That's pretty, that's pretty normal. Don't worry about the diameter or the thickness. We really only care about the Z height the max speed and your RPMs on this page. Okay, so if we're gonna actually start this thing, let's get it into position. So I'm gonna go all the way negative and X to the wall, okay? So until we get pretty much to that wall, so there we go. And now we're gonna drive it positive and Y backward until we get that blade to where it's gonna make a cut on the front of that table. And right about there, that should be good. And I'm gonna bring it over in X just to the right until we're just nice and close to it. Eh, that's probably about good. We don't wanna be touching, but we wanna make sure we're getting full coverage. So I've got, I don't know, a little under a quarter probably. And there we go. All right, so this is our starting position. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the screen and we're gonna click F3. Okay, so we're going to click F3. Then from there, we're going to go to F4. All right, so this is where you're going to need your table length and your, uh, well, X length and Y length. So this is what we milled this table at before. So we had 160.5 in, uh, in X and 85 in Y. We did an inch and a quarter step, and we just want to make sure that we check the water to on. Beyond that, that's pretty much it. Um, remember, on this program, you're gonna use both dials. So start out with them uh, maybe at like 10%, and then they'll, then we'll slowly ramp them up. So this is your forward speed. This one is your reverse speed. So it's gonna make a cut, step, and then cut in reverse. Okay, so forward speed when it's cutting forward, when it steps and cuts in reverse, that's gonna be this reverse speed. So start out nice and slow, and then as it's cutting, dial it up. Um, just kind of, it's all by ear, and you know, 
how much dust are you okay with type of thing. So yeah. go ahead and hit start and it'll fire up. And uh, I'll just, right now we're not really taking anything off. Okay, so X limit positivo. Okay, so that means we're trying to come too far to the right in X. So let's just go to the left just a little bit. So I'm gonna go negative X, just a touch. And then uh, I'll clear that error out, try to start it again. There we go, and so now it's up. There she is. And um, we're just doing the demo, so we're not actually milling anything off. So I'll just turn my speeds all the way up and you can see kind of what we're doing here. That's pretty much that, honestly. Uh, we got water in the front. Really, if you're not taking like a ton of material off, then that's fine. If you're taking like, I don't know, a half an inch of material off or maybe even a quarter, you probably wanna like stand here with a garden hose and give it a little extra water if it's making a lot of dust. But um, for me, I always mill it just like that and uh, seems fine. I never have a problem with it. When it's done, it'll be in the back. And um, ideally, if you got your lengths right, it'll stop by itself. If you have a little bit too much length, it'll sit back there and it, it'll just have the blade spinning. It's just waiting for you to turn it off. So anyways, that is milling the table. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.